Welcome to part two of our Maker Gear M2 assembly. Now we're going to be doing the Z stage. First, you want to start off with this metal bracket. Attaching to this metal bracket with four M2 by 16 bolts, you're going to attach this plastic belt clamp. We've assembled this already, and links will be in the description for how to assemble that. It goes underneath the four small holes here and gets locked in with the M2 bolts. I'll be right back when I have that in. So I've attached the belt. Make sure when attaching the belt that the teeth are pointing away from the triangle on this piece. Next is the carriage for the linear rail. This will attach to these four holes right next to the holes from the belt. Attach this using four M3 by eight screws with lock washers. Just one in each corner. I'm going to tighten those and I'll be right back. So now after we've attached the carriage for the linear rail, we're going to attach and mount the spider. The spider is mounted using three M3 by 12 bolts, these springs, and the thin spacers. You do this by coming here from the side. You stick the M3 through the hole. You have to twist it. After you pull that through, place the white and then the spring. After this, go to the spider and mount it down. The holes in the spider are tapped so you won't need any nuts. Repeat these process for the next three holes. I'll be back when I've done so. So those are all now attached. Next, using an M3 by 16, you're going to attach an end stop that will trigger the limit switch when the bed is in its maximum position. This will go in the slot right here. Put the screw through the slot, the nylon spacer, and then the lock nut. I'll tighten that up and I'll be right back. After attaching that, you'll find rubber pieces in your kit. One of them will be a 90 degree piece and one of them is a rectangle. You'll take the right angle piece and put it on the square and then you'll take your M4, M3 by 18, sorry, M3 by 14 screws and stick them through the two corners. Repeat this for all other rubber pieces you find. I've already done that. Next, we are going to mount these onto the corners of the spider. There are no, the holes are threaded, so you won't have to use any, any uh, nuts. Make sure you tighten these down, but not too much, otherwise you'll bend the rubber. I'm going to finish mounting these and I'll be right back. Now that you've got the corners attached, we're ready to move on to the next part. The next part is mounting the linear rail onto the Z platform. The linear rail is the 295 millimeter linear rail with 12 holes for M3 by 16 bolts. You're going to take the bolts and making sure that you leave one hole on either side of this linear rail, you're going to mount the hole mount the rail using the bolts. You don't need to use any washers, just a bolt and a nylock. I'm gonna, re and repeat that all the way down. I'm gonna repeat that for the next 11 bolts and I'll be right back. After you've mounted the rail, it's time to slide the carriage onto the rail. Be careful when you're doing this as the balls can come out of the carriage. Once you have that mounted, it's time to put on the end stops. You might want to have a friend help you with this, so it can be kind of tricky. To mount the end stops, use M3 by 22 screws, a thick nylon spacer, and a lock washer, a lock nut. You take the bolt, put it through the nylon spacer, stick it through the hole at the end of the carriage, and then secure it on the back with a 
with a uh, nut and tighten. Repeat on the other side. After you have that mounted, it's time to mount the Z-axis screw holder. This will mount right in this hole here using three, using four M3 by 18 bolts. The bolts will slide through the holes with the washer through the bottom of the Z-axis screw holder and then be secured with a lock nut. Repeat this for the other four holes. I'll do this and I'll be right back. Now that you've finished mounting the Z-axis screw holder, you can mount the linear bearings for the smooth rods. One goes in each hole to the either side of the Z-axis screw holder. Using an M4 by 18 by 16 millimeter uh, bolt and an M4 lock, wash, lock nut, you can attach these on all eight spots. I'm going to do this now and I'll be right back when I have that finished. After you've mounted the linear bearings for the smooth rods, it's time to mount the Y-axis motor onto the Z-stage. To do this, you're going to use M3 by 14s with an M3 washer. You're going to mount the motor with the pins facing to the right into this slot over here. Don't fully tighten these bolts yet, as you'll still have to adjust them later to tighten the belt. I'm going to attach those four bolts and I'll be right back. After you've mounted the Y motor, it's time to put on the belt. You might want a friend to help you with this, as it can be sort of tricky. So take the belt, slide it across the back of the motor, and rotate the motor to put it on. After you have it on, tension the motor by sliding it back in its slots. Get it as tight as you can, and screw it down. The motor should be, the belt should be nice and tight. Next we're going to install the M4 by 50 bolt into the far hole next to the smooth bearing rod. This is going to trigger, trigger the limit switch later on and allow you to change the height offset for your bed. After doing this, we are going to install the Z-axis threaded rod with the motor onto the Z platform. This will go through the, the Z-axis screw holder we have mounted earlier. Get it in and rotate it through. Once you have it in, it's easier to grab it from the top to get, spin it through. After you have it about halfway through, it's time to mount it in the machine. To mount it in the machine, you're going to tilt the whole assembly, slide it through the hole in the top, and put it in. Next, you're going to mount the motor into the bottom using four M3 by 35 bolts. I'll be right back after I do that. Now that you've mounted your Z motor, it's time to mount the top plate. In the top plate, you have two bolts, M3 by 30s, that are going to act as your clamps for your smooth rods. Stick them through with a washer on each side and screw on a lock nut. Don't tighten it yet though, as you still have to slide in your, uh, your rods. Set that on top and stick through your M5 by 22 black bolts. Do not tighten these yet, simply stick them through the holes, as you'll have to come through later and tighten them. After you've done that, it's time to slide the smooth rods through the assembly. Take one smooth rod and gently slide it through the top. You do not need to use any force. Slide it through the linear bearings on your Z stage and through the hole in the bottom into the holder on the bottom. You need to get the holes lined up so that the rod can slide through smoothly. After you've done one rod, 
Do the same with the other. Again, you have to slide around the plate on the bottom to be able to get the holes to line up. Once your smooth rods are in place, you can go ahead and tighten the top clamps. This will keep your smooth rods in exactly the spot where they are now. After doing this, you can go back and tighten those black bolts you put in a minute ago. I'll do this and I'll be right back. After you've tightened those two black bolts, slide in your 608Z bearing into the large hole on top outside of your Z screw. Then take this piece, put it on top, and with, a set, uh, with an Allen wrench, tighten the set screw until it is tight to the rod. Next, you have to adjust the screws on the bottom and tighten up your holder on, on the bottom. I'm going to do this and I'll be right back. Now that you've mounted everything and completed your Z stage, you're finished with part two. We'll see you in part three. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.